After a long, kind of sad, pretty rough day, it feels so good to be back in the helm of Kratos and Atreus, wherever the heck he has gone. Maybe that's a little too real of an intro, but it's been a weird one, so I'm glad to get back into this masterpiece with you all. Welcome back, everybody. We are heading to find that black room from Tears Vault. Uh, we defeated a Valkyrie last episode, which was insane. That fight was absolutely crazy. I loved it a lot. It was so cool to, like, basically, like, brute force our way through that just by mastering combos, mastering a pattern. It, it felt very Dark Souls. That's like a boss battle from that series. Of, you just gotta nail it, and you can nail it. It's all about pushing your skill to the max, not you're being stopped by a artificial barrier of leveling or something like that. We're clearly under-leveled for that Valkyrie fight right now. Given it's difficult to compare to everything else we face. But we made that happen, baby. Ah, see? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Huh? Where is the boat? The boat washed ashore. Oh, here it is. Get in. I will pull. Water you level's changing. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted, but after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No, but at least I know the truth now. The truth. The truth. I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is... I was born a god. And so were you. Boy. Have you nothing to say? Can I turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I had hoped to spare you. Being a god... It can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, you will learn. And there is a super sentimental conversation to start this sure thing I can't off. Turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. <laughs> is this why you hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. 
Mm -hmm. I love how he's just so curious what his powers are. Freya for sure. Rock and Sindri? They do not need to know. Baldur! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Baldur. That is the truth. Hey, you don't have to go right back to Tears Vault. Really? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing? I will show you. <laughs> so much sass. Did so you freaking see cool. Out there? That tower. I see no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things. What the heck? Okay, so one of. I want to know if we're going to get to uncover his powers within the game. One of them might be seeing things that aren't Maybe. there. You were in the middle of the story before. What were you saying about the long war? Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy. A certain Vanir goddess. Legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. And that would make Balder her son, I believe. I think that's what we got going on here. Um, return to Tears Vault. Search for more Valkyries. More mines. Fafnir's storeroom. Recover the bones. We get Tears of Waste Armor recipe and Tears Offering. Destroy the statue of Thor. That one is super hard. Use the realm tape. Oh, we can go to Musel Muselheim. Kind of really want to do that. All right, let's just go into Tears Vault since we're here, and then when we go realm travel. Like we'll go realm travel to multiple places. How's that sound? Is it? It's here, right? Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's go at this rune stone, and then we can realm travel let's try this again. to multiple places. It should be good. And it should be fun. There is a lot to do. Here we go again. And here we go again. All right. Sand bowl, sand bowl, stick your fingers in. Hopefully that electric guy doesn't come for my king. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. What? Alright. Charm that sand, Atreus. Hit it. Click the runes, man. Are we supposed to activate something? Like, I don't... Huh? Atreus. Hit it. Um, buddy. These are the words. These ones. Is that the answer yeah. there? Garp. Says Earth. Or Earth. Hmm, swallows <laughs> death, brings forth life. Alright, cast Go. it, man. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. <laughs> You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do. And they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful. Using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon, it's been known to happen, yes. 
I love how Atreus like, we don't have to worry ourselves their little problems. Eh, no, maybe the lesson we want to take away. Understandable that he feels like that, but... I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. We saw Egypt, Asian culture, and then looks like Native so, American. Whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim town. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the giants working together. Huh. Alright, let's go grab that black room. Where is this black room? No, I've never been in here. Ooh. It's so beautiful, it looks like a freaking Little Mermaid's Palace. Except more crystals and less mermaids. The stone! That has to be it! Well, I'm sure a big battle is about to uh, happen. Are all these bits and pieces going to form a Valkyrie? They look like bird feathers. Or a giant ring? Naturally. The heck, man. Didn't think it would be that easy. No. Just kind of hoping, though. All so right. what now? Feel the wind. You may lose it, brother. Um, not quite sure where they want us to put this. I mean, it's on the outer ring. Not quite sure exactly where we're headed, but uh, let's see if we can't get somewhere cool. As we break apart parts of this room. What of these? Thought is faster than wit. Solving problems with our heads rather than our feet. Suits me fine. <laughs> you don't have feet. You know, right. for someone so loved, Tear sure was paranoid. Ah, thanks to Odin, with good reason. Alright, I guess we'll climb down. There's gotta be places to take the wind, right? Just like, where the heck do we put it? Oh, in here, I guess, maybe? A wheel, a wheel, a very big wheel. Ah, a ski and do from my homeland. Used to have one of Owen back in the day. You should take it, boy. Yes, boy, take it. We might need to butter bread mm. somewhere in our travels. This is why no one likes you. Oh, Mimir with the jokes. All right. That's unfriendly. Hmm. Look, small passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. It's too small for father. No, I won't buy. Ow. Careful, brother. Leia's not here to bring you back if you're cutting too. 
What'd you find? Enough distraction. Do not forget why we are here. Okay. The vault is filled with enough to please the entire cast of Pirates of the Caribbean. But we still gotta get after that stone. Kratos seeing himself, actually himself, on the the little um the vase there. A little weird. Oh hey. That's from a great desert land very far from here. Do gods live there? Oh my yes. Many, <laughs> many gods. Good or bad? Not as simple as that, I'm afraid. I assume he's referring to like Egyptian culture. Or so it seems. Sand land. Um We're looking for runic chests. We're not following the Cave of Wonders rules and not touching a thing. We're touching kind of everything, but understandable. Alright, what's in here? Alright, an opening in the back room. Or the main room, I guess. Are there more runes? I don't even see a rune chest. I don't even know, man. Weird. Ah, what up? Nice. And then we can use our super attack here. Not bad. Not that one. This one. Ouch. God, these guys like to spit fire at me. It's a vicious attack. It looks super sweet. You gotta get a little bit better with aiming it, but that's so freaking sweet. Ow.
God, this is really tricky here. Um, I'm gonna go ham on everybody. Alright, hang on, hang on. Punch the nightmare. Yup. Cool. A tough fight. Yup. We made it happen though. I like switching back and forth between both weapons. I don't know if it's valuable, but yeah. It is not important. It was a rash impulse. You need not dwell on my failings. Wow. That was almost an apology. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, which bad news bears? I guess we're going back in there. All right. No, jerk! Oh my goodness! There we go. 